Deep in the night, you flame and flick a flick. No, it's hard to trust the clip. You move along, you so tired of falling. You play nice. Hey, y'all, and welcome to another video. As you can tell by the title, today we're gonna be styling maxi dresses. Y'all know it's sundress season, but if you're like me, you know you wanna kinda style it up a little bit instead of just doing the usual black dress, open toe shoe. So we're gonna try and spice it up a little bit. So in today's video, we're gonna do at least 10, maybe more different like variations and how you can style up the maxi dresses. So stay tuned. Today I'm gonna be using Skims dresses, literally the best dresses, like best maxi dresses to ever exist. I swear I'm not sponsored or anything i just love these dresses i have them in different colors and today for the purposes of the video we're going to be using these like spaghetti strap ones i'll link everything down below but i do have the long sleeve ones as well and i do recommend those but for the purposes of the styling we're going to use these and it hugs your figure real nice if you decide that you do want to dress make sure you sign up for the email notifications because they literally sell out like that but i am going to link it down below and maybe you can get lucky and see if your size is in stock i recommend all the colors it's literally perfect for the spring i can fit a small and a medium but I like a small better because it fits like more tightly on the bottom so let's go ahead and get started and make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I'm way more active on there you guys know I fell off of YouTube a little bit but we're back now so let's go ahead and get right into the video all right so obviously I'm gonna start off with the regular traditional go-to styling for everybody when they wear maxi dresses and that is basically just the regular dress paired with some open toe shoes and a little purse so we're gonna start off with this black dress like I said I got this in a size medium I'm pretty sure but I can fit both I am usually a size small or medium in tops and and bottoms so it kind of fits true to size it's also very stretchy so keep that in mind when you're ordering and since this is just a little black dress I'm gonna go very simple I'm gonna put it with black sandals and a little purse for this one you can obviously have two different types of like sandals that you wear whether it be heels platform sandals flip-flops whatever you can even do your Yeezy slides etc so I'm just gonna pair it with these platform sandals so I got these from ASOS a while back they're like little platform flip-flops so we're gonna pair that okay and then we're gonna do just a little simple black bag to complement it I think I want to go simple like Telfar like I don't want too much going on so I'm just gonna pair it with this little black Telfar bag and that is our first look I'll do a little side-by-side so y'all can see the full body but obviously this is everybody's go-to it's like the simplest and cleanest look when you're going to style maxi dresses and of course if it's hot you don't want too many layers so this is a really good casual fit for spring and summer so this is look number one and of course you can add on your jewelry bracelets rings all of that but for the purposes of the video I didn't want to wear jewelry because I would literally change it for every single outfit so we're just gonna do a basic styling but of course always accessorize for this I would probably go silver because black looks better with silver to me and y'all know I just recently got into silver so if I'm saying that silver goes better with it that's saying something because I only used to wear gold so I do recommend silver accessories when you you're going with this look you can also of course throw on some sunglasses but for now we're gonna keep it basic because this is the first look and then we'll add on to it later okay for look number two we're gonna try to do something a little fancier for if you ever want to do this into like a night out dress or just you know kind of style it up a little bit make it a little more fancy and it's gonna involve no extra layers we're just gonna do something with these straps which I'm very excited about because I just learned this little hack so basically as you can see <laughs> So as you can see right now, we just have it regular spaghetti straps, super basic right here on top. It looks like a little tank top, honestly. So we're gonna play with it a little bit. So I'm just gonna take one of the straps and I'm just gonna put it over my head just like that. This is kind of like an asymmetrical vibe. Looks just super clean and classy, even though you're not doing too much, it still adds a little bit of detail on the top. You wear some dangly earrings, that would make it super fancy. And then of course you could just pair it with black heels and that's a little look for the night but let me show y'all what i was actually planning on which is to cross both straps hold on Oy. Okay, this is one way to really style up the dress if you're going for a night out look. So let's go ahead and continue to dress it up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and pair it with my little heels. You guys know I cannot wear big heels. So right now we're doing these little one inch kitten heels. Those are my go-tos for everything. And then since we're going for the little night out look, I'm gonna go for a mini bag. This is Vivian Westwood and I think it looks super cute. Gives it more of a like dressed up look. And then I feel like this would be really cute with like silver dangly earrings, bracelets, rings, nails. Make sure you 
spray some perfume so you know you gotta smell good if you want to look good so this is the second look it's obviously very dressed up even though you barely did anything you didn't need any extra items or anything like that so I definitely recommend this if you're going on to like fancy dinner or just you know want to be more dressed up than usual this is the go-to so look number two and then this is how it looks in the back so it literally looks like the dress was like made like this if you're like me i love like crossbody stuff like this or even the asymmetrical way was also super cute so this is definitely going to be one of my go-to's this spring especially if you don't want to wear like a jacket or another layer on top come on yes if you follow me on tiktok you've definitely seen a variation of this look before and i was getting some hate comments i'm not gonna lie but it's okay we're still gonna style it because i really enjoyed the fit so for this look you're gonna need a leather jacket or you know whatever kind of jacket you want to put on over it and in the video i used like a longer version but this side this one is just like a regular oversized leather jacket so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on give it a chance okay some people aren't gonna like it but i think it turned out really cute in the video so this jacket is oversized but of course you can wear any kind of like you can do it cropped you can do it longer so now we're gonna pair it with these boots that matches kind of like the pleathery texture of the jacket and these are from amazon but they're literally so cheap because mine are broken but we're not gonna talk about that we're just gonna put these on and some people might question it because like most of the boot is gonna be covered by the dress but i feel like that's what makes it really cute all right so boot is on this is how we're looking so far and of course we have to add the details so of course jewelry everything but i want to show y'all that i'm gonna use these little sunglasses they're not really sunglasses they're just like cute little glasses i got them off of princess polly literally my go-to's i love wearing these because they go with so many things especially because i'm wearing a lot of silver now and then you can pick between like a two grungier kind of like chic bags in the video i went with this one but just for fun let's just go with this one to kind of dress it up a little bit so this is the final look this is more of a like a spring fallish look because it might be a little too hot during the summer to wear leather accessories but you know you you'll figure it out whatever weather we have styles for every weather is what i'm trying to say oh my gosh falling apart like Girl, what the heck anyway so this is the look look number three slash four if we're counting the asymmetrical one and i really like it i have pictures of it i have pictures in it on my instagram if you guys want to see like how it looks posed and everything but this is one of my favorites so definitely recommend adding a jacket and some boots to kind of switch it up a little bit especially if you're trying to style it up instead of just doing a little dress this is the last outfit for the black dress but we're about to pair it with a graphic tee and sneakers and a lot of people a lot of people do not like dresses with sneakers but i think it's a really cute way to make it a little casual have a little just you know casual errands fit very dressed down very streetwear so i'm gonna go ahead and put on this graphic tee over top my skims dress i got it off of essence but i can't remember what brand it is i'll link it down below of course Okay, as you can see, this is a very like square, boxy graphic tee. You can wear fitted ones, loose ones, it's literally up to you. Some people wear really baggy graphic tees and then kind of do like a little knot right here, which is also super cute. So, you know, just kind of play around with it, make it your own. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like this. It's kind of giving like graphic tee maxi skirt vibes. Then I'm going to pair the one and only. Everybody named Mama got these, so I know y'all got these in your closet. The Panda Dunks, they're black and white, so they pretty much go with everything. We have our sneakers on. I'm going to go ahead and start accessorizing and I'm going to use these black Bottega glasses. Is. Yo. Then we're also gonna get a bag, of course, and I think I'm gonna go with my black Telfar duffel bag just because I feel like that would be really cute. Alright, so this is the vibe for this one. It's very like casual streetwear, just a cute little like errands fit, shopping fit if you're not looking to have your toes out. I really like this. I love it with the Telfar bag. I think it makes it super cute. And this honestly might be one of my favorites. Let me know how y'all feel about sneakers with dresses, but I'm going to go ahead and change into the gray dress so we get a little change of color around here. Even though none of these dresses are colorful, y'all, y'all know I'm not really going for like the pastel pop of color spring. Like I'm really going for my neutrals, which I don't, I don't know why you expected anything different, honestly. So let me go ahead and get changed to the gray one and we'll do the next few looks. Okay, now let's go ahead and style this gray dress. So first things first, I had an idea to use this button up, but I think I'm going to use a white one instead, but y'all will see like what we're supposed to do. So obviously you can use short sleeve, long sleeve, whatever color you'd like. And I'm 
I'm gonna go in with this white long sleeve button up. I just feel like it looks better with long sleeves, but of course it's gonna be hot in the spring and the summer, so you can wear a short sleeve. A little cropped button up white shirt, and mine already has ties, but the whole point of this is to tie the extra fabric at the bottom of the loose button up. So go ahead and just tie it just like that. Alright, so as you can see, I took my little button up, just tied the extra end, and I just made it into a little knot. Kind of gives it some little extra detailing. When you're using one like this, you obviously have to take the loose ends down here and kind of tie those together. But mine just happened to have straps. So that's what we're going to go with. So this is the top layer. This is also super airy. Still keeps you super cool because it's not like a super tight fitted shirt. And this would obviously look so cute with like some jewelry. Silver or gold looks good with gray. So whatever your preference is. Pearls, anything. So look right here. It would add a lot more detail. So make sure you guys put on your jewelry as well. Now, here's the question. Do we want to go with like... A dressier a white heel or do we want to go with sneakers let me show you the two options so I think mm, I don't really like it dressed down I think we're gonna go with the heels so for this look we're gonna use heels Just kind of dress it up a little bit and then we're gonna pair it with a little white bag which is super cute we're wearing heels so you can wear whatever white shoes you want whether you have white sandals white slides or whatever it may be and then I'm gonna put it with this little white mesh tote bag because I feel like that would make it super cute and kind of dress it down so this is the sixth look I love this one I'm definitely gonna be wearing this one out and about somewhere and I like how it kind of like modifies it a little bit because you're covering up your, your chest and your shoulders so it's super cute I like this one a lot and my original plan was to use the short sleeve black button down so you could wear this with some black sandals and it would have the exact same effect so pick and choose your colors as you wish and of course you can add your glasses and all your other accessories and dress it up that way because details are key to styling these dresses even though you're adding layers you also want to add all of your accessories because that'll make it go up like 10 notches just from those accessories especially rings and like necklaces and stuff you literally can't go wrong so of course over accessorize okay look number seven is probably one that you guys have seen if you're on like fashion tiktok or like hacks so we're gonna start off with this sweatshirt and this is not a very summery look but it's also really good for fall if you're trying to layer things on top and the hack is that you put something tight like maybe a, a bra on the outside or like a little tank top or something on top so you can put this and then crop it in there I feel like I'm explaining it all wrong so let me just show y'all so I'm gonna use this little white top and we're just gonna layer this on top of the dress. Of course, I'm not gonna use the straps or anything and you can obviously use like a strapless bra or anything like that. Okay, so this is the look. <laughs> I'm just kidding, okay. Now that we have our little tight layer on, I'm gonna go ahead and put the sweatshirt on and then we're gonna tuck it up into the white shirt and make it a little cropped sweatshirt look, which is the hack that everybody was doing on TikTok. So you can honestly wear it like this, but the point of the hack is to have a cropped look. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck the sweater into the white shirt that we put on. All right, so here's how I'm gonna leave mine. Obviously, you can make it kind of perfect if you want. You can go all the way around, play with it however you want with the crop. I'm just gonna leave it kind of like a little messy crop. I think it's just super cute just sitting like that. And for this one, I'm gonna pair it with these babes just because I feel like a sneaker look would be really cute with this, but obviously you can wear your open toe shoes if you'd like. Okay, and once again, I'm going to use this little white mesh tote bag, not because it's the only bag I have, I just like it a lot. Here is the seventh look, a little sneaker sweatshirt look. This is more for colder days, colder nights, whatever you want to do. Let me know what y'all think. What's your favorite so far? Of course, I'll show you the full body side by side. But let's go ahead and change into our next color dress and do the last few fits. Here is the next color dress. It's this really cute tan beige color. One of my faves, also in a medium. And now I'm about to style a puffer vest with this dress. I feel like this is a really cute look. It's a little bit more colorful than the last ones, but it's still very neutral. So we're gonna take this little cream puffer vest from Urban Outfitters and just layer that on top. So this is how the vest looks on. It's really cute. I love puffer vests. And now I'm gonna go ahead and zip it up even though it's, it'll still probably be cute like with the look opened up. We're just gonna see which one looks better. And I'm gonna tighten it as well and tuck the strap in cause I just don't really want the little strap showing. There we go. Here's how we're looking, and then I'm gonna pair it with some, can you guess what? 
Open toe sandals. This is a really cute spring look. So these are platform sandals from Steve Madden. I did get them a year ago, so I don't know if they still sell them or not. But they match the like color scheme perfectly because they're a cream. And they're also like, I know Steve Madden gets a bad rep, but these are pretty comfortable to walk around in. I'm not going to lie. And lastly, I'm going to add this little paisley knot bag. And I feel like it goes really well with the color scheme. So here's the look. And of course, we can add on our sunglasses as well to kind of spring it up a little bit. And this is just a very neutral colored, like tan outfit for the springtime. I think it's super cute. Of course, let me add it on the full body. So this is look number eight. Now I'm gonna change back into the black dress and we're gonna do the last two looks. This next look, we're gonna be using a belt, which some people are against as well. Like why are you using a belt with no pants, no belt loop? But I think it's really cute to like just use belts as accessories. So this one I got from the thrift store. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the first little hole so it can just sit really loosely on my waist. I feel like it gives a little added detail to the middle of the dress. So this is what we're working with. And then I'm going to pair it with this mesh jacket, but it just sits really nicely up here because I think it's cute the way it's kind of like off the shoulder. And this is just a super cute little casual way to style up the dress. And I'm gonna put this with platform sandals. Like I said, I got these from ASOS. And then I'm going to further accessorize with these little sunglasses and a cute purse to go with the belt buckle. As this little buckle i feel like that's super cute and this is our completed look this is look number nine and i think this one is cute it's still super casual adding belts as an accessory is something that's very popular right now so i feel like this is also like very trendy very in if you don't know like what accessory to do just add a little belt it's okay if there's no belt loop or you don't need to hold anything up it's just for decoration so this is look number nine let me know what y'all think about it i'm sure some people would be like kind of iffy but i feel like it's super cute and super easy as well you don't really need too many layers or anything you can go without the jacket and just do the belt in the bag and that's a look right there too all right y'all for this last outfit we're gonna do some pops of tan with this all black dress so this is a very beachy outfit we got the little bamboo sun hat telfar duffel bag and i think i will do the steve madden sandals to make it all tan so this would look probably cuter with a white dress, but unfortunately, unfortunately Skims does not have a white maxi dress or I would have it in my size, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. Don't mind the ponytail, but I feel like this is super cute for a little beach day. Get the sun out of your face and everything. Obviously your hair needs to be in a low bun or just down, but I feel like this is super cute. So I highly recommend it. Copying one of these hats. This is from Target. I feel like it just sits really nicely. I also have a black one, but I wasn't trying to do an all black look. So this is our little pop of tan look. Really cute, really good for the beach. So this is the final look and that concludes our video on styling maxi dresses. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. There is a much shorter, well, if you got to the end, I don't think you need a shorter version, but if you do want to refer back to the tips, I'm gonna post a TikTok video with all the tips as well. So make sure you guys follow me on there. But thanks again for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys the next time i upload